Hello my soccer gamers and welcome to part 5 of my Europa League jersey review. We are looking today at group E. I'm wearing Italy because Lazio is in there. It hurts a little bit because just yesterday or two days ago I ordered a Lazio shirt from Classic Football Shirts. Just didn't make in time. I was even thinking, shall I put group E uh, and wait for the Lazio jersey? And I said, nah, I'm not sure if this will work out all that nicely. I want to get the videos done, so leave it the uh, uh, Italy shirt now. As I said, there are only four groups where I have jerseys and they are back there. We'll start with Lazio because they were the seeded team in this, although uh, as of this they are not through and they need some help. We saw it in the Serie A jersey review, the Lazio home jersey. Is a classic Lazio look? Um, I do like the color. I'm not sure about the sleeve cuffs. I am absolutely not sure about the sleeves on the bottom and between here. Um, also, why the cocarda uh, symbol is over the crest and not centered, yeah, take your pick. Uh, but it's not a bad jersey. It's your classic Lazio jersey with a slightly, you know, with the horizontal uh, shadow, shadow strapping. Makes it nice looking. I gave it seven stars, stick with that one. The away jersey though, I, I like actually a lot better. This is a really nice one with the um, off-center uh, stripe. It's a little bit white, but uh, see, it just encompasses the uh, eagle from the crest. Last year's crest is a little bit weirdly shapen. Cannot squeeze it into <laughs> easily <laughs> uh, without losing a lot of space into a circle or whatever. But it is a really interesting nice crest i have to say and here the white and then with the two-tone blue really strong look it's again those little thingies the slivers here the sleeve cuffs the weird color that is uh, white on the front blue on the back and then look at the bottom at the hemline again there is a lot of sliver speck coming up that's what in a way ruins this jersey a little bit because other than that it this is a really nice design really really also the cocarta here is centered what a concept i gave it eight stars sticking with it remove if everything else was white and all of the stripe i think this would be a 10 star jersey that's how much i actually do like this design but those little things just turn me off and then we have the away jersey which is in many uh, the third jersey which is in many ways the home jersey just in navy blue, which I generally would like a lot. Um, we have again all these specs that drop it down. Maybe that the color is not better delineated. Um, I think if it just would use a little bit of the light blue outline, I think it would be better also cocarda centered. Uh, all these jerseys, of course, have also a sponsor on there, which honestly doesn't really um, hinder my ratings of that one. I give this seven stars. The last two jerseys are nice, not as great as last year's. Unfortunately, I still want to have one of these uh, with the eagle on there. But those a pretty decent looking, pretty your classic last year jerseys was what we expect. And I think the away jersey is a special one. The second place team is Celtic Glasgow, who is already qualified from this group. Um, to me, a little bit surprising. New Balance put out a very interesting Celtic kit in a way that it, you know, New Balance, we saw it with Liverpool and other teams already. They have this overarching shoulder yoke, which is a really weird design, but actually they made it kind of work here for Celtic. But you can actually see how it is there because the top hoop is slimmer. Uh, it doesn't show as much as if you look at it at first because uh, you have the green color, so there's a little bit balanced. But um, if you look at the um, shoulders on the sleeves, it kind of you would expect the, the hoop going around. So that a little bit is a downside. Other than that, it's your classic Celtic jersey. They don't put any patterns in there, which is nice. Looks well. Even the sponsor looks all right on there, even with the yellow and the black. Um, I actually do like this overall look. Uh, but I have to say, the shoulder yoke kind of drops it down, and it's just a seven star to me. I have seen much better Celtic shirts. Uh, so far the away jersey i like the colors uh, a lot i even like the patterning on the shoulders i just don't like this cut off style that new balance uses i think new balance 
kind of ruins their shirts with this cut a little bit. Um, but yellow and green, it makes perfect sense. Even the monochromatic crest here makes some sense. It uh, all looks fine. It just could look so much better, I have to say it. And for that reason, yeah, I'm gonna drop this down. Um, it is a six star jersey to me only. Sorry to say, because I, I really like the idea, just the cut doesn't cut it, honestly. Ren is the third place team and they already eliminated a little bit, uh, surprisingly, given that they made it far in last year's competition. Uh, the sponsor here, of course, is way too big for the Europa League, where it is much, much smaller. Um, Ren this time went with a half and half look, but it's this half and half look that I don't like, where the back then is all red, so you have only one half. I think Watford does something similar. But other than that, it's a strong look. I mean, red and black, and then a white spawns on there. Um, from which of my favorite teams have you seen it before? I also like the half and half because it, it reflects the crest quite well. So that makes a whole lot of sense. Now, the crest centered, that could work here, but then you need something else to balance it out and they don't have anything, I assume. Or you would align everything on the center. I think a half and half look where everything is aligned on the center. It's usually quite a good one, uh, but I I have to say, I like my crests on the left a little bit better. Um, yeah. If I look at this, I see no fault and I give it nine stars. The away jersey though, I would expect white. Why blue? Why blue? Doesn't make any sense. And then yeah, it's the template on there. Uh, I should say less about its four stars. Um, then we have Cluj, who are equipped by Homa, who have this, uh, similar to Roma, kind of this maroon uh, colored um, jerseys. Of course, there are way too many sponsors on there than they were wearing in the Europa League. But I actually have to say, um, it is a nice look. I like this golden outline. I like the color. Homa is doing a lot of things right. They are becoming the um, outfitters for Eastern Europe teams and they do it quite well, I have to say. Um, this Cluj jersey, quite nice overall. I don't find many faults with it. I think I can give this eight stars and the away jersey um, does the similar. It just takes out the maroon makes it white. I don't like the blue sponsor, so that's why I dropped this down seven stars. As I said, in the Europa League, much less sponsors on there. It looks much cleaner. I actually like the European jerseys. Uh, if you saw my part four with the last jerseys, my favorite, favorite team, you see that the Europa League jerseys are a whole lot cleaner than what they are wearing in the league. Well, this concludes part five. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I think there were quite some good looking jerseys in here. Um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you.